Need versus want. Kira. And those are so pretty. Oh my word. That critter. You can just put them down there because we're going to eventually bring the truck over. Oh. Just need them out of the way for the mill. What this tells me is next year I need to cut some pines down this year, let them sit, cut them into 8 by 8s let them dry, and then in the fall cut them and make wall boards. I'd love to at least do the treehouse part with that. That's pretty.
20 foot 16 is about right there. Yeah, it probably is a 20 foot one. Dang it, those are hard to come by. <laughs> well, I think we're cutting for what we need this year. Anyway. So what she just said is the blade is dull, too dull, so we're done. We can't do any more at this time. Well, we have a super dull blade and it dove. As soon as it hit this dirt, that was all it took. So I was cutting this at a half inch, which... The, when it dried, it kind of twisted a little bit, so you actually have to re-square your, your log in order to get a true half-inch cut. <sighs> These are super dirty, so that's going to be a big problem. Should I go open the box of other blades? Um, we have to make a decision if we want to keep cutting. So, if we want to keep cutting, we've got to put a new blade on. If we So we decided to go have some oatmeal and warm up a little bit. It's about 35 degrees today, it's not bad. We're gonna go ahead and switch out this blade and go ahead and finish cutting because it is going to get super cold in the next couple of days and we won't wanna be out here. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna switch that blade out now and then cut these into half inch uh, planks. And I think we're gonna be putting those on the wall in the treehouse section of the shipping container tiny house build and then we have some rounds that we need to cut for a friend of ours wedding and then i think we're going to be done <laughs> yay. so yay we are meeting marty and julie from martin johnson off-grid living this afternoon and they are going to 
bring our new stove back up here and help us get it put in the shipping container. So that'll be a lot of fun. You guys will get to see them at the end of the video. <laughs> so stick around <laughs> and tell Julie how funny she is. <laughs> So these can be re-sharpened. Um, I just need to find someone here locally that does that or I have to learn how to do it myself. Um, they do have a machine that you can buy. I'm thinking about maybe getting that in the future. Um, these blades are about between $12 and $20 a piece. Um, so I think, I don't know how much. These are the ones that we're putting on now and this one that I just had on were ones that um, Woodmiser sent me to try out to see if I liked them. Um, so now we just opened the new box of the different type of blade. And actually, I'll try to look it up and let you know what blade it is. I don't really know. Um, but they're supposed to cut better and all of those things. So it'll be exciting to see how this goes. center but this is right at a half inch here so this is half inch then we have the one inch that we cut earlier um, so I'm just trying to decide where I can get the most usage out of the blue pine um, I mean it's so pretty yeah, it's gorgeous pretty um like it does it's not super flimsy uh so i think it would be fine on the wall we do half inch drywall all the time so i think i'm gonna go ahead and keep it at a half inch because then i can get more out of this and hopefully get that whole living room section completely covered in it so I think I'm going to keep it at a half inch. We're just going to have to be gentle with it so it doesn't break. See me be gentle with it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't be able to use it for anything else but wall um, because it would be finished, nailed, stapled up there. Um, finish nailed up there and you wouldn't be able to really build anything else with it but as far as the wall covering did we lose Kara? Um, it would work okay. just want to throw it out over there uh, so this new blade actually because I was thinking about this as I was cutting um, with it being a half inch, we would not be able to plane it to make it smoother. It would have to stay rough cut, um, which obviously we could seal it and that would help with the roughness of it. But um, this particular blade has more teeth, so it's not doing as rough of a cut. Um, but it is still pretty rough. If you get up here close and look. So, yep, I'm going to keep it at a half an inch and then... We're just going to try and get as much for the downstairs living room and hopefully the upstairs treehouse part.
buddy. Hi, Blue. <laughs> Hi, buddy. We came back to see you. Hi, buddy. Who are these people? <laughs> Who are these people? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Blue. Blue. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Blue's like, you promised me you'd take me with me last time. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, how's it going? You can't have my stove. Okay. Thank you, though. Oh, there we go. Don't squish your toe. Look, there's a sign. It says that leg's name is Fragile or yeah. Fraggle. 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 <laughs> <laughs> a little poltergeisty. Yeah. Are you on? So it's really awesome having really amazing friends, and the Martins have brought our um, stove that we bought. And Marty let me know that it was not a good one for a solar system. <laughs> we will have to use the generator in order to use the oven. Chickens are terrorizing the dogs. <laughs> but they made it, and we're going to get it put in here, and we're going to try to bribe them to move our wood stove back into place. <laughs> Look at this thing. That is amazing. I've never seen one of these work before but I will be finding out how that works here real soon. Sure.
the generator's <laughs> loud anyway. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, it'll keep Champion. you warm. It's the same. <laughs> same engine. <laughs> there was a That's Terry. Her